We're here today with Kate Key Agarwal from Parallel Wireless. Kate Key, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here, Phil. So we're talking about all the changes that are coming up for um, the way we use our mobile devices, how we get the bandwidth to the mobile devices, and the network is completely transforming right now. Mm -hmm. Parallel Wireless is right in the middle of all of that. Um, as we're thinking through these things, the cellular network has to change dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, part of that change is in virtualization. So what does Parallel Wireless think of virtualization? How are you guys reacting to that? Yeah. Um, so Parallel Wireless is envisioning a solution that is uh, based on virtualization. And uh, as you know, operators are trying to uh, save CapEx and OpEx and uh, having a lot of challenges as the technologies are cha changing. We had 2G, 3G, 4G, now moving on to 5G. And Parallel Wireless is uh, envisioning a solution that runs on virtualization uh, and uh, uses virtualization for the base infrastructure mm -hmm. and solves the problem for NEG, uh, not just 4G and moving on to 5G. So we are creating an infrastructure that will solve operators' problems that they are seeing today, that they are experiencing today. And with software upgrade, it will take them to the future NEG solution, whether it's 5G or next 6G or 7G, any technology that comes uh, in future. So they can uh, maintain their current uh, infrastructure and just uh, get better return on investment. So they can continue to react to the changes in the network yeah. or what's on the demand side yeah. without having to completely redo the inside of their infrastructure. Yes, exactly. What, what is this uh, process called or what's, what's the, uh, 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 the approach that you're taking? Um, so we have uh, multiple components of our solution. Uh, one focused on the radio side, uh, as well as backhaul and core network infrastructure. So we are coming up with this solution that inherently solves uh, that problem. We virtualize part of the radio network, we virtualize backhaul, we also virtualize a lot of core network uh, functionality. And while we are virtualizing it, we are also adding intelligence, so it's uh, giving better uh, user experience and uh, for operators an opportunity to generate more revenue because uh, once they have invested in their infrastructure they want to see uh, better revenue streams. Sure. So with this infrastructure uh, even though it may seem like it's just providing the basic uh, mm -hmm. services that they are trying to run in the network but actually it is providing an infrastructure that they can build on top of so when they want to add more application intelligence, more, uh, uh, you can say, mobile edge computing type of uh, functionality, more intelligence uh, on the edge of the network, our infrastructure can uh, make uh, those things available to them. Can you tell me a little bit more about the open VRAN approach? Um, mm -hmm. that's, that sounded like an interesting component to how, how this all comes together. Um, so, Open VRAN uh, is a uh, great initiative and our infrastructure, our solution is geared uh, towards Open RAN. In fact, we were envisioning Open RAN uh, six years ago when we started Parallel Wireless. So, as you can see, uh, we have uh, been thinking through the problems that operators are having. and. If you're thinking through those problems and trying to envision a solution, that's not all, only solving the problems that are there currently, but also looking into the future uh, problems and trying to come up with a solution that solves uh, those problems. Uh, that's where Open RAN is going as well, and uh, that's uh, where uh, we are trying to position our solution and, and this addresses not just the, the capital spending side, but also the operational expenses as well. It helps yeah. carriers yeah. save in both in both areas. Yeah, so um, as I mentioned, uh, that our solution is bringing in some uh, network intelligence, uh, intelligence in, inherently, mm -hmm. uh, and that is self-optimizing and self-organizing network capabilities. So our solution uh, has enough flexibility and agility to uh, help operators with regular day-to-day -day maintenance, operational costs, and uh, we, by bringing in analytics and uh, some of the other uh, 
radio optimization as well as core network optimization. So when we talk about self-organizing network or, or self-optimizing network, we don't just talk about radio network optimization. Okay. We look at it from end-to-end -end point of view, what network optimization can be done from backhaul point of view to make radio optimizations more effective. Okay. Same way, uh, what we can do in the core network to make the complete end-to-end -end, uh, network operate uh, better. And that has been our approach. Kate Key, thanks so much for being here. Great, thank you.